First, discuss your health status with your doctor. This is only for men who are healthy. Then ask your partner what she has in mind. You'll both know when the moment's right. And then just let it happen. Cuddle up and watch your favorite frauditors. Anytime's a good time to find your way to... Dick Bag Patrol. Frauditor Ram. Family of TV. Watch all your favorites like Jose DeCastro, Chris Cordova, T Audits, Jeremiah Payne, Dope Dog, S. Elmo, Sean Reyes. If trolling lasts for more than four hours, call your doctor. Or have breakfast with Hezekai, where dysfunction is accepted. Message brought to you by the Unified Trolling Foundation. All profits go toward trolling dysfunction research. Just so you guys know, he's big. I'm big. I'm bigger than everybody I know. But typically, I'm physically bigger than everybody around. Hey, we just met. Can you go ahead and get on the wall, spread your butt cheeks for me? <laughs> there we go. I had breakfast with Ez this morning. So, welcome back, everyone. And here we are with the Tyrant Terminator once again. I thought this guy learned his lesson and figured it out. He just He's just so wrong on so many levels. And the stuff that he does is just, uh, just ridiculous. And his arguments are ridiculous. He was on live stream and had one of his own, somebody that was a sub came on and talked to him and, and was even telling him he was wrong on stuff. And he just argues it in circles and, and wins no argument. I mean, he just, the man just spins in circles. The hamster wheel goes and goes and goes. And uh, I don't even think there's a hamster there. I think the wheel's just spinning. So, <laughs> so. Oh, anyway... Let's uh, let's shame this uh, frauditor one more time. You know he's looking over uh, onto uh, desks and workspace and over in the cubicles and uh, customers don't want to be filmed. It's it's the the same old same old here with a dumb butt frauditor. Prod so all right, let's get on with it because. Uh, <laughs> We're going to tear this one a new a-hole. We're just getting ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. Let's go see. Huh? Do you have an appointment today? Nah. How can we help you? I'm uh, just documenting the bill. You guys got any uh, FOIA record, uh, request forms? FOIA okay. request forms? Correct. Let me ask, okay? Okay. On your website? On our website, yes. Yeah, you guys can just print a sheet off for me. I'm just documenting. For what though? Are you a current client of ours? Well, no, ma'am. Oh, okay. You also go to um, Suicide Crisis Line, Lifeline. Oh, we're not sure why you want, you're recording the building. What's your name? My name's Barb. What's your Barb, name? what's your position here? I am the public health operations man of supervisor. For the for this office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What's your name, sir? Ah, uh, Miss James. James? Yeah. No, 
us some privacy practices. Yeah, he's going to wander around here and, and uh, put his camera on information sitting on these desks. None of his business. Can't be doing that. But he doesn't care. Does he care? No, he don't care. Uh, you can't do that. You can't, huh? This is personal. You can't be recording my personal stuff. Like that. Oh, yeah. You just have to do what yeah, you did. Just, yeah, you have to close the notebook. You can't be recording, coming in here recording us. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Just like what I said, why not? Okay, well, Barb? Yeah, Barb seems to not have a problem with it. I don't, I don't know why she doesn't. She should. Well, maybe she's, on, or maybe she's aware that I can do it. To our website, this is what you can find. Okay. Um, um, there is a link there that I guess you can print it. But okay. If you go to the website, you can click on the link and find more information. Really? So you guys kept printing form off? Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, that's just you can go to the website. No, I'm talking about a form for me to actually fill it out. This, this, these are just instructions. Um, I don't, there's definitely a reason for everything, Barb. Barb, Barb it is, right? Yes. Yeah. What is your reasoning for recording us? I just, like I told you when I, when you first asked me, just documenting. For what though? What purpose? For, for my purpose. But for what reason though? Just my purpose. You're just randomly coming in our building wanting to, for health department or access? Just this building specifically. And if you guys can't find a form for me to actually like fill out, I'll just take a blank sheet of paper and fill one out. If you guys can't you're, find one. You're requiring your, you're asking for your medical? No ma'am, just a, no, no, just a FOIA request form. Just Freedom of Information Act, and it has nothing to do with uh, medical records at all. What's your name, ma'am? Don't want to give your name? No. You want to be unprofessional today? No, not today. It's definitely unprofessional not to give your name. You want to give your name? Mm -hmm. No. I don't know. I don't feel too unprofessional. Huh? Public servants being unprofessional today. Wow. You Dingleberry, why in the world should they give their name to you? They're under no obligation. They're not your public servants. They're employees. And they may get a paycheck that's from the State Department of Health or whatever, but it's got nothing to do with you being a taxpayer or anything else. you got no control over any of that. You're such a dipstick. I can't believe this guy's still going. I, can't, I just can't believe anybody supports this dude. He's... I mean, he's doing things that brothers quit doing a long time ago because it's basic no-nos. <laughs> God, what a jack wagon. Oh, God, let's get back to it and see some more of his nonsense. Wow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Is this like, a, uh, like you own guys' his own personal like, uh, pharmacy? Uh, it's a pharmacy dispensing site. Really? Yeah. I've just never seen one like that, like a pharmacy inside the uh, health department. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. At this facility. I'm sorry? You can't be recording at this facility. What's your name? My name's Deborah May. Deborah May, are you the, like a manager here? Cause uh, I'm a behavioral health supervisor. Oh, okay. Yes. She told me she was the manager of the office. Well, she is the manager of that part of it. Oh, oh what's the difference? <laughs> There's different services right here. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, absolutely not. I don't need any help today. Appreciate it. They okay. was able to help me. W will you please turn off the camera? I'm just documenting like Do, I took you know There are people here who have privacy rights. That's correct. And you cannot record so you need to turn that off uh, well i'm just like i told barb here i'm just documenting the building came in to get a four-year request form okay. so they was able to provide me with that okay. so now i'm going to document the building before no, i leave you, no. you can't, can't do that so you can either turn off the camera or you can 
you know, step outside the building. Oh, respectfully, I'm not going to. I'm going to document the rest of what I have to do, and then I'll leave. Okay. Thanks a lot. I'm not agreeing to you staying here. You are trespassing at this point in time. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> You've been asked to leave. Yeah, I can't be trespassed on public property, man. You're going to call the police? Yeah, they can call them. They're, not... They're going to take you away. Ah, worth we, it? well, we hope not. We hope the police don't come well, and violate rights. Me, no. Oh, well, you engaged me, sir. You asked me, if you started talking to me. Don't, don't, I am, bro. Huh? I'm a patient. Okay. Go outside. I'm not going outside. Well, you think you're going to intimidate me or something? I'm not trying to intimidate I mean, you got up talking about go outside well, like you was want to, man. Don't, you're, this, it ain't worth you're it, man. Filming me. It ain't worth it, man. Go take care of your business and pay attention to what you was just doing at that window, man. Joe, it's okay. Joe, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. They can call the police all you guys just want. We, 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 it's okay. It's definitely okay. You are on private property. It's public property, man. No, it's not public property. It's right there. No, it's outside. The services are public health center. You see what that say right there? It says public health center. That That's does correct. Not mean this building is public. It's private property owned. It's private properly owned. So is DuPage County a private county? Oh, okay. Okay. Do you think you're intimidating somebody, man? I'm not intimidating nobody. But you're intimidating. Intimidating me now. I'm not. How I'm intimidating you? Yeah, you are. How, sir? I don't want to talk to you. Well, don't talk wait to me then. Yeah, wait till they come. I can't wait till they arrive. Mm -hmm. Jumping up out your seat, all. I didn't jump out of my seat. All Billy badass. If I did. I it just seen you. Just because I'm a small guy don't mean shit. Be, we about the same size, sir. <laughs> we about the. Uh, we about the same size. Same, same, same size, man. Size doesn't mean anything anyway. I know. The harder they fall, the harder you're going to fall. Okay. All you got to do is try your luck, man. Yeah, I will. Okay. I got nothing to lose. Okay. Me neither. <laughs> I'm a patient. You, could be, you, you You know what? You need to exercise the other the other word of patience. You better have patience with yourself, sir. Because this ain't one of them. It ain't worth it, man. Trust me. Leave him alone. He's messing with me. You he jumped what? up out of his chair. You guys are standing right there blocking him from engaging me. Yes, and you are violating his Are you privacy serious right now? By recording him. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. He's in public. No, he's not in public. Yeah, this is he's, public he's, property. He's, he's at an agency re to receive services. And I am as, uh, as well. <laughs> you just told me that you didn't need anything, that you got what you came That's for. That's not true. I told you when I came here, I, re I was asking for a FOIA request right. for him. Isn't that services? That. Yes, you received the service. And I'm going to fill it out and turn it in. Okay, well, but you can don't need to stay on the property to do that. Oh, well, I have a right to do it, though. Uh, absolutely, you could fill out that right, form. Right, my form, I'm going to fill out. The only thing I'm asking you to do is to turn off your camera. Well, at this point right now, you guys have called the cops. You, you guys have a patient that's uh, obviously, you know, uh, irate. So we're definitely going to continue to record uh, for reasons that's apparent. Yeah, he just has to fill out. Dude jumped all up out his chair, man, like he was gonna do something, man. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> That's what we better do. Told you this guy's a real tool. What a, what a horse's ass. <laughs> Just, <laughs> there for one reason, one reason only. You know, just to, to stir things up, to make content for his, for his followers to say, oh, great job, you civil rights activist, you protecting the First Amendment. You're a great tyrant terminator guy's a doofus I uh, I, I have sent him emails and, and invited him to my channel for a live stream 
and I'll continue to send it. He talks a big game, but he, 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 his knowledge is very limited. Very limited. And uh, he's got no business there. Yeah, he could be checked out of there right now. Uh, law enforcement's going to show up, and he's going to put his spin on it. But uh, you know what? Law enforcement's they're becoming more and more educated with this because they're dealing with it more and more. You know, there's so many patrolmen out there that probably have never dealt with one of these guys yet, but it's getting closer to where all of them have one time. So now they're starting to understand limited public forum, non-public forums, um, the uh, privacy protection and like that health department. Um, yeah, I mean, we are, we're making, we're making headway, seeing lots of things changing, um, just a little bit, but they're changing. I'll point out a couple other things here in a little bit that I want to bring to everybody's attention. Let's get back. doing today officers yeah. pretty good what's your name badge number sir i see officer Han anderson yeah what's your badge number 317 317 and you sir 376 376 real quick uh came in to grab a foyer request for him okay. um freedom of information act you know fill it out turn it in um I'm also documenting today exercising my first amendment right to just be in public accessible areas not making any effort to go past any restricted doors or anything like that I tried to convey it to a couple of different personnel here. Uh, they weren't interested in even hearing it. Uh, they wanted me, you know, they're saying they want, want you to leave because I'm recording it. Tried to explain to them that I have a right to do so. So they uh, dispatched you guys out here, which is a waste of reason. That's a predator tactic. Get to law enforcement officers before they get to the call, anybody on the call site. They always do this. They want to intercept them first. Now, some, some officers will... Um, will say, I'll, I'll, I'll be back to you here in a minute, what have you. But these guys already know. They already know in their mind where where they're at and where they're going to go with this guy. They're not having to contemplate anything. They have the answers. And it's, uh, it's very, very refreshing to see. So he's getting ready to get schooled by uh, a couple of officers here. But he'll drag it out as far as he can, but his arguments are... He, he's horrible. This guy has no. He he couldn't win a debate on on his knowledge. That's for sure. Resources for something that's constitutionally protected. I'm sorry for that inconvenience. All right, what are we gonna do? Ah, well, like I just told, like I told them, I'm, I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to document and get some more pamphlets and things of that nature to see what's available to the public, and and I'll book on out. What do you? What kind of records are you trying to get? at? A uh, couple of different things. I'll put it. I'll fill it out on Anything here. Anything that pertains to you? It'd be better. No you medical records at all. No, no, it's not medical records. It's for you. Right. Yes, it'll be for you, not yeah, medical. Right. Right. If I wanted medical records, I wouldn't fill out a for you. Well, I don't know what you need. Well, yeah. What you need. yeah, so that's about it. You know, like I say, man, I apologize on their behalf for even calling you guys out here because it's, it's a waste of time. In the public accessible areas, I haven't done anything nefarious. Don't have any ill intent today. Just want to be able to exercise my rights unmolested and go about my way. Do you need to see a doctor here or anything? No. Like I said, I just want to file my FOIA, document the building. That's it. All right, let's go up the forum. I am. I'm definitely here. All right. I'm doing that because we're not going to leave until. You know, well, I'm not going to leave until you guys leave. I mean, you guys just can't kick me out of here for. I can kick you out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't need. I mean, obviously, you guys should get back to work. Well, you just, well, you just fill out the form and take whatever pamphlets you want, and we'll go with Kathleen over after. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But I don't need you guys to babysit me in terms of uh, me waiting for me to fill out a FOIA and document the bill. If they don't want you here, they can ask you to leave, and if you refuse to leave, now you're committing a criminal act. What's a criminal? What's the criminal act? Trespassing. Well, you can't trespass me from a public building, minus a crime. Well, if you look at 
Well, I was talking about the Illinois as compiled statutes, correct? But we, but we can arrest you under our local ordinance, which doesn't mirror. You know, you know what? Real quick. So you have an ordinance. Mm -hmm. You have an ordinance in terms of trespass correct. to public property. Correct. What is that ordinance? Correct. You want the exact statute? No, yeah, because I was going to get ready to convey the statute to you exactly, to be perfect. Well, you're going to convey the state statute, correct? That's correct. Okay. The Our local ordinance? Mm-hmm. The supersedes state statute? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. The process of arresting? Okay. It doesn't mirror what the state is. It doesn't mirror. So I don't. I don't need the same reasonable suspicion to arrest you under state as I do local ordinance. Okay, because seven twenty ILCS five twenty one states yeah. that you can't trespass on public property okay. during normal business hours okay. while this public building is open to the public. Okay. Well, actually, it is a limited public forum, so he could use that doctrine if he chose to, but he has a local ordinance that supports what he needs to do here. You know, you forget the Tenth Amendment. All you fraudsters forget the Tenth Amendment exists. You know, you, you get yourself so focused in on your... your you're probably even looking up a state ta statute that doesn't apply. A lot of times they'll just find a few words in there that sound applicable. But what they don't know how to do is use the entire paragraph or statute as it's written. Just like Poster 7, they leave some out or they don't use the word. Words matter. So he can be out of here right now. Um limited public forum more than likely um if not we have an ordinance here might even be a non-public forum um the health department might um so yeah he, he he's got no grounds but but this officer has a uh has a local statute that applies to what this uh oatmeal for brains is doing here um, so he's always so sure of himself and he's always so so wrong <laughs> he's just tyrant terminator you know with his very white wannabe <laughs> okay let's get back so I mean if you're gonna uh, you know that's the law I have a right to do this like I said I'm a first amendment right if you guys want to wage war on wrong rights today then that's okay um, if, obviously, these young these young ladies here wanted me to leave. So, if you guys ever talk to them, let me just put you on notice real quick, you Officer notice, Peterson. You know right, am I able? Conduct? Am I able to? Am I able to finish? Well, right quick. So, I'm not able to finish. No, no, I'm asking you a question. Okay, but I'm saying you cut me off though. That's okay. rude. Do you know the statute for disorderly conduct? Can I finish first? Answer my question. I will. Can I finish? Go ahead, finish. Okay. What I was going to say is, after you guys have a conversation with them, mm -hmm. and you guys continue to try to kick me out. You're going to be in direct violation of 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're definitely going to be in it because you guys are acting on the color of law. Okay. So if you use threats and intimidation as an instrument to obstruct my rights, you're going to be in violation of the constitutional rights. You're going to have threatened you and I had intimidated Well, you, you came up with trespass and arrest well, and all that. So that is a threat. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Do you know the statute for disorderly conduct? You tell me. Okay. When you alarm or disturb someone, you've committed disorderly conduct. So, uh, so me recording okay. can be alarming and disturbing someone. Correct. So, the, the um, Supreme Court has already ruled that you can't convert a constitutionally protected activity into a crime. You just can't. Okay. You, you can't. I mean, if you guys are you, unsure, you, Officer Peterson, you respectfully. Any, do you have any business that you need to conduct? Yeah, as I just told okay, you. Okay, well, let's just, get it done. Because you're yeah, just but wasting I'm, your own time, their time, our time. No, you, no, I'm not wasting anyone's time. I'm being. I'm the one that's being harassed, sir. You're not being harassed. Yes, I am because now we have armed guards here. Trying to enforce your will on on, on on something that's constitutionally protected. We're something you swore to up. Whatever that's going on here, so we're just asking if you fulfill that out, leave it, and that's exactly what leave. I'm going to do. That's precisely what I'm going to do. And we're going to make them feel comfortable by staying here. So if you can fill it out, and we can all leave together. Well, Officer Anderson, respectfully, it's not about making them feel comfortable. It's about you upholding the oath you took, sir. No, it's oh, it's no, it's not because they're not comfortable. So, so, so them being comfortable is more, uh, it supersedes your oath. I'm just asking. Because you swore to uphold the Constitution. Okay, I'm part of the public, and I'm exercising the right. And if you just want to be cooperative and fill it out, we'll live happily ever after. That's correct. Do you have an ID? No, I don't, I don't just provide ID minus a crime. What's your name? James. Same thing I told you. James? That's correct. What's your last name? I'm not going to give my last name. 
I don't think that I have to. I haven't done anything illegal. If you, if you guys, maybe you guys are not sure, and I can understand that because we all human beings. Most people be cooperative. Go fill it out and get out of here. I mean, I'm be perfect. I mean, you don't want to be cooperative. So, so, so I'm being uncooperative by just exercising my right. Come on, Officer Peterson. That's just. We can move this real quick. Just fill it out. Leave it here. Take whatever pamphlets you want. We all go with pamphlets after. You're absolutely correct. But you know what? Also, you can do, Officer Peterson, is if you convey to them young ladies, this young man is doing nothing illegal. He's going to fill out his paperwork and he's going to leave. Why can't you guys just do that? That's simple. You're harassing someone that, harassing well, it's kind of, sort of, sir. You're, you're, you're asking me to do things and you're giving me directives and things like unlawful directives. They're not unlawful. They are. Okay. You're, you're telling me that I should fill this out right now okay. at this moment. That's what you came here for, to fill it out. That's correct, but I don't need, so we'll fill it but I don't need Officer Peterson and Officer, uh, Officer Peterson rather, and Anderson to tell me precisely when to fill it out. Why? That's not what I want to do. I want to fill out why I'm here and just turn it back in. Simple. I'm, I'm, de I'm definitely going to do it, but I don't need you guys to tell me when to do it. You know what I mean? Of course not. Who's who's going to stay somewhere all day? I mean, I could if I could if I wanted to, but I'm not. Of course not. Like and then again, I was going to say if you guys are not sure. Maybe you want to call a supervisor here, sergeant or someone, someone of a higher authority that uh, maybe know and understand my rights as a citizen. Maybe you guys and you guys are human beings. So you got, you know, obviously you can make a mistake. So we just don't want you to make a crucial one because it's not worth it, man. And then they didn't tell you about the young man that jumped out his chair as a patient and got all bucked with me like he wanted to fight. And they didn't convey that over the phone, did they? <laughs> of course not. Are you guys call a sergeant for me? Or, oh, is that one right there? Yeah. Great. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah. How you doing, Sergeant? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, just. Uh, no, it's right here. So, uh, is it Sergeant Fuentes? Fuentes? Yeah, I'm Sergeant Fuentes. What's your name? James, sir. James? James. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. I, like you just heard your officer. Uh, do you get services here? No. But is it is, real quick, uh, uh, Sergeant, since you just listened to your officer, can you listen to me now? Sure. Okay, appreciate that, sir. Uh, real quick, like he said, I came in in front of the foyer, and I also came in here to document the building. It's precisely what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm in here exercising my First Amendment right. I conveyed that to these young ladies. However, they wasn't interested, so they dispatched you guys here. Okay. My thing can is this. Mm -hmm. James, right? Yeah. James, what for your information are you looking for? Were you a previous patient here? No, no, service? and that's what I told him. No, it's not about medical records. It's just for you in, in, in terms of uh, this health department. Specific oh, okay. information. Have you had a bad experience with the health department? No, no, not at all. I'm just here to document. Like I said, I'm taking up a story on this health department while filing for you. Awesome. Simple. Do you, do you have like a YouTube channel, a Twitter account, something that you're I mean, able to like post that stuff? Well, I got like Facebook and I, you know, I got a lot of different social media accounts. But awesome. Yeah. yeah, so. yeah. You know, I, I've, um, I've had the pleasure of meeting several people that have do those kind of like audits. And stuff oh, okay. Like yeah, so yeah. I'm yeah. very familiar with Okay, so did. Okay. And, okay. And, you know, and, and, and you know what? And thankfully you like are. Accountability that you're there you go. For? There you go. There you go. Okay. So, um, what kind of accountability are you looking to check with here? Are you just looking to fill out the FOIA? I'm a fill, that's like I told these officers. Okay. I'm gonna fill out the FOIA, and I'm gonna document the rest of the building and get some pamphlets, and then I'm booking on out. Simple. Okay. Okay. So, what kind of documentation are you looking for inside the building? Because you gotta understand, right? You got the First Amendment protection of speech, right? And well, it's freedom of press. What? Yeah, yeah. Not. You, yeah, you know, I'm not in. Report, yeah, I'm not, not in here trying to you know protest or anything. So, okay. yeah. And so, if you're trying to document stuff and put information out to people, that's know, correct. We, we respect that. And I we appreciate want to that. Encourage that. Okay? I appreciate that. Now, here's the thing, though, James. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand. There's people here that are getting medical services. Okay. So you well, gotta, I, you I, gotta, I, I can I can appreciate that. Yeah, and so the thing. Gotta, oh, okay. okay. You're right. You, you gotta respect their privacy, though, too. There's okay. Gonna be certain areas that are gonna be restricted because people are getting uh, medical attention. That's correct. Having, counseling sessions or speaking with doctors. And I will make no effort to go past those doors. HIPAA laws, they can't let you document certain people's 
uh, medical information that's correct and all that stuff so you got to be very careful about that stuff too i understand that. so uh, while I, we understand that you, know, you just want to document make sure that they're doing stuff appropriately and that sounds understandable mm -hmm. um work with the facility as well though if you're going to fill out a form fill out the form and you know turn it into them so they can get the information that you're actually looking for that's correct but if you know, if you're not going to fill out the form, I definitely am. Gonna get the information you're even looking for. I'm definitely am going to fill it out. That's what I was telling Officer yeah. Peterson oh. here. I'm going to fill it out. I just don't want to be given directives from an officer on when to fill it out. That's the only thing. That's yeah. my only concern. In the past, you typically fill them out on scene, or do you take them back home and then send them back in? Yeah, I fill them out right here on the because there's no there's no reason for me to go all the way home. I'm here, yeah. so I'll fill it out now, turn it back in while I'm here, okay. and just book on out. Um, is this the form? Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like a pretty simple form. Have you filled you filled oh, them yeah, out? Of before, course, right? several. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to fill it out now so that way we can get that process rolling? Well, you do your quick <laughs> documentation and move on so they can continue their business operations as well because they're they're busy. This is one of the biggest busiest uh, uh, locations for the county health. Okay. Um, they see a lot of people. There are kids that come to this facility at times. Okay. I'd hate for a family to come in here with their kids and we're having this kind of conversation going on. Hey, let me so, let me explain something to you yeah. real quick, uh, Sergeant. Uh, appreciate that. that. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Do you need a pen? No, she just gave me one as well. Oh, uh, let me just uh, let me just explain this to you real quick, sorry. Uh, my, like I just told hey, these officers. Do you mind, there's a patient coming. Would you mind? Yeah, he's just lucky he's come across uh, officers with patients and a sergeant with patients. He's got uh, great patients. He knows how to handle this. Um, they can fall back on uh, several different things and and he he exposed himself this is what they do when he said that the patient jumped up out of his chair wanting to swat at him and stuff right there it's creating a disturbance and that disturbance would not have occurred if you weren't there so you're creating the disturbance uh, yeah they leo has a tendency to be awful forgiving when it comes to this and I get it they're trying to be fair um, <clears throat> if these guys were a little bit more hard pressed for time they probably wouldn't be as uh, uh, as pleasant as they're being but uh, he's got to build Tyrant Terminator has to build his his video and he's got all the key elements because law enforcement has arrived but the key thing that he has to do is in this video with him leaving the premises under his own uh, uh, I was going to say regardances <laughs> from the intro <laughs> what the hell he, he has to he wants to leave on his own free will he needs to convey that to his to his uh, followers that that he's not removed but he's basically removed right now he's done if they want to end it right now they could they're going to let him fill out his foyer then they're going to call it quits and he's going to string it out as usual all right thanks for being here hit that like share uh come over and join the party uh, 99 cents a month no big deal right all right let's get back to it just watching the camera please uh their respect you can film me as much as you want, but just be respectful of them, please. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to say, with all respect, if they would, they didn't even request that. You're requesting the form. You're stepping out I, your boundaries, sorry. I look out for everyone. I'm just saying, you, now look. I'm a public servant, right? No, so I look out for sorry, people. I'm going to say this, though. Interests. I'm going to say this. You took an oath, sir. 100%. Now watch this. You even said that you've seen First Amendment audio videos, right? Yeah. So you know precisely what I'm doing, and I'm in the right, I'm in my legal rights yeah. to do precisely what I'm doing. Why is we still having this conversation? Why am I still being harassed, and for lack of a better term? I don't feel like we've had a, a harassment kind of conversation. Well, James. not think, me and you. Yeah, I think. But these two officers for sure. But you're still here trying to enforce a will that they created because these two officers wanted me to fill out a form now, and now you're adopting the same mentality. So we got called here, right? That's correct. My officers didn't just show up here magically, right? That's correct. So someone called for our assistance. Is that correct? Obviously, the department. That? Yeah, the department did. That's correct. Okay. So they're here. They've talked to staff here. And I haven't had the pleasure of meeting the staff yet and talking to them yet. Okay. So I can understand them as okay. well. So and understand their position. From what I did understand from when I talked to my officer here, mm -hmm. it sounded like the staff here uh, didn't want you here. Okay. So okay. 
that's one of the positions that they're kind of trying to work through that is we don't want this to necessarily get to a trespassing situation. Does that make sense, James? Can we agree on that so far yet? Well, the trespassing part, that's where I got the situation with. Like I conveyed yeah. to Officer Peterson, 720 ILCS 521. You can't just trespass me from public property during normal business hours when this business is open to the public. That's the state statute. And I'm here to conduct business. It's just not on the officers to tell me precisely when to conduct it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all. What will be the right thing to do is to explain to these young ladies that I have a First Amendment right mm -hmm. to record in public. Mm -hmm. That's the oath you guys swore to, right? Mm -hmm. I would love for you guys to honor your oath today, sir. Yeah, no, and we're working through that. And the thing that I found... It'll look good for you on camera, sir. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Well, so, I'm just saying you should there's be. There's cameras in here. There, cameras everywhere, right? So, 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 so why are they I, tripping I just, about this? <laughs> I'm just saying, make it make I'm sense. I'm getting recorded all the time. <laughs> so, I, I, I'm just I'm saying. Just used to it. You guys don't have body cams, huh? No, we're going through them soon. And at that point, okay. what I do in my professional capacity, everyone's... Gonna have the right to see how I do my business. I think I do my business pretty well. But you should always I'm want you should, you should always want to do the right thing though, especially when you're sworn oath. I do. Well, I if do. that's the case, I would love for you to go and educate these young ladies and that we have things, a constitutional right. The one of the things that I found helpful that helps me do my job the best mm -hmm. is when I can understand where someone's coming from. James. Okay. So that's right. where I'm having. I can appreciate that. With that. Okay. okay. So um, it looks like they got you that clipboard, the pen. That's correct. Just speak with uh, management over here, understand what's going on a little bit more. All right. Um, are there certain pamphlets you're looking for? Like, can I, we help you well, get some of those pamphlets? Not necessarily. You guys don't have to go out of the way to do that. I'm, I'll see what's available, grab I a like few. I surf people, man. No, I understand. So if I can help you out. No, I don't, I don't need any help to grab some pamphlets, though, Sergeant. <laughs> so, well, no, it's cool. I appreciate it. Appreciate the gesture. Say, if there's certain topics you're looking for, maybe they can put it together for you so you're okay. not just flipping through everything all the time. Okay. So if there's certain topics you are interested in, let me know so we can get that for you. That all right. Sense? Yeah, for sure. So okay. you're going to holler at them like you said? Right, and... Let me just talk to them real okay. quick, James. All right. If you got questions on the forum, let me help you fill that out. All right. Yeah, so uh, we're going to fill this form out. Definitely going to fill out the form. Wait to see what uh, Sergeant Fuentes say when he come back out first. Uh, these two officers are still here. Glad a sergeant actually came because these guys look like they was getting ready to make a huge mistake, man. Probably a career-ending one. Uh, possible. You laughing? I know you guys think that you know uh, when we file complaints they go in the garbage, but the thing is, once I conveyed that to you, those laws are well established. Now you don't have qualified immunity. Once the laws is established, your arguments go straight out the window. And, uh, of course, you and your lawyer would lose summary judgment. So I don't know precisely what I'm doing. So. Well, I get to say it again. It's not public. This is not public. At least it's limited public forum, and I believe it's a non-public forum. However, the non-public forum, no, it, it's limited public forum because they uh, they could have they could have meetings there. They probably have a boardroom and stuff. And so, anyway, um, <laughs> this officer Anderson, he'd like to do it his way. You could tell he'd be already gone. Um, the sergeant's been way, way too nice. And uh, if he actually would have witnessed what he was doing when he got there, going back behind the cubicles and, and uh, you know, recording the desk, the material on top of the desk, little altercation with the, uh, with the patient, I don't think he'd be applied to this, this sergeant. Uh, He's definitely, uh, I don't want to call him, say he's a snowflake, but he's a little bit, seems a little bit softer, uh, <laughs> easier, a little easier going guy, so, all right, man, what, what an oatmeal brain, God, I can't believe this guy still does this, and he still has people that, that, that believe in this guy. You know, he brought up summary judgment. Yes, that is, summary judgment takes place. That's how they determine, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the qualified immunity. 
but you know so he he's got some terminologies he knows you know a few things but he knows nothing really when you think about it he could be trespassed right now and probably have a couple of citations for ordinances disturbing interference something like that all right let's get on everything all right sarge Good. I'm having a good day. You? Yeah, I'm. I'm not I'm actually. Every, you got everything squared away. Fantastic. Okay. He didn't really answer the question, but uh, we'll see. Got everything squared away, sir? Yeah. James, could I ask just one favor? Uh -huh. There are some clients that are doing some stuff. Can we okay. just face that way so that way we're not capturing that? Yeah, that's, that's cool. Is that understandable? Yeah. I'm trying to get this young lady to Xerox stamp copy my FOIA. Oh, are you done? Yeah, I filled it out. Oh, all right. Well, well hey. she, she, she told me she'll be right back. I guess she's taking care of somebody else, so that's cool. Thank you, bud. Is this your form? Yeah. Directly to your, the FOIA officer. Yeah, I need a, I need a time stamped in a copy, Xerox copies. Yeah, copy? so we can yeah. make that happen. Yeah, just so, so I can know she received it. I mean, how do you want to time stamp so you don't have a machine to do that? Oh, well, you can say sign it if you want to sign we'll, we'll your just name. Put a time on it. There you go. Yeah, we'll yeah. put a time on it. Handwritten. And then, there you go. Yeah. That'd be great. That's what we do. That should suffice. Yeah. Oh, but what were you going to say? I was going to help you understand their policy a little bit on how they've handled similar situations like this. Okay. okay. So that way um, you're able to do what you need to do while respecting. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of clients in here. They have confidentiality. Some of them have sensitive things that they're, they're dealing with. Okay. And that's not fair to them. Just like if you went to a doctor and were dealing with something very private, you wouldn't want someone putting that out on social media. Per se. Oh, only, only, only thing about that, they can't expect privacy in public. So if, it's, if it is something private... They can when they go to a medical facility. So well, but we, I mean? we're, we're in the lobby, though. <laughs> it's not like we're walking back there to the doctor's office. We're in the lobby. So if there's anything private in the lobby, that's pitiful and shameful in, in itself. Well, I think about this, right? <laughs> When's the last time you went to the doctor? Uh, it's been a couple months. Okay. When you check in, how do you check in? At the lobby. Yeah, what do you have to give them? Yeah, just give your information and your appointment time. That's it. Yeah, like name, did birth, right. stuff like that, right? That's correct. That's no, 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 officer, that doesn't work. Sergeant, that doesn't work. You can't create these scenarios for these guys. <laughs> it just doesn't work. He, you're just going to be on a merry-go-round with him. Uh, trust me. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to cut it out because I know how it's all going to go, but uh, I can't because I want to see. This, this sergeant's just, yeah. No, you can't do that with the, especially this one. Because he's real, he, he's a petulant little man, and he he just has to have just like you walking in the door. Everything all right? He's trying to pick you. You know, he's he's trying to create the narrative the way he wants it because they all try that, and he he's trying to keep control of the situation. He has to look in control. If he if he loses control of the situation, that might go against him. He might not get the clicks and views or the shares or the likes that you know that he needs. People bail out on him. If they see him starting to you know woke flake a little bit. <laughs> so, that's my new word, isn't it, Linda? Uh, woke flake. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're getting near the end here. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to see if I can cut some more out of this. It's ridiculously long for for such an asinine audit. Just, they got to give up on these health facilities, man. They, they, they're a little tougher than regular facilities because they, they bring in another layer, you know, of protection and statutes. So, uh, you know, he's, he's really pushing it there. Because he keeps talking about a lobby like like they're at City Hall or a town hall or something like that. Or a police station, as far as that goes. Still wouldn't be public. Yeah. All right. Hit that like. Hit that notification bell so you know what I'm up to. Let's right, finish right. this thing up. Because Not in public, though. <laughs> See what I'm, you get what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, think about this. Just, watch, watch just this just right quick. Just work with me a little bit because I'm working no, no, with I'm, you, I'm being honest, though. I'm being yeah. honest. I don't, I don't want to say. I don't so, want you to just tell me anything. This is what I'm saying real quick, Sergeant. Let's just say for I'm not recording I'm not recording, right? I'm not coming here and somebody says their information. I can still remember it. Yeah. Does, so, does that make sense? Yeah. Like I said, James, we're working with you, right? Working with me how? We're going to 
explain some things to you and we'll be able to get in the So, just so you know, this information is available on our website. Yeah, that's okay. I know. I know. Uh, I'm just yeah. telling you, there's also, yeah. this goes through just like okay, it's great. supposed to. Okay, great. But you, you will forward it to the appropriate person? It is being sent right now. Oh, yes. thank you. Okay. Um, so, was, we're at the point of just telling James what your guys' kind of policy is on similar situations mm -hmm. and how you handle it in the past. Um, just so he understands what your guys' um, typical um, operating procedures are. Yeah. Okay. You just kind of maybe fill in what the. Yeah, I mean, is. The, the biggest ter uh, concern in terms of the county is people who come into here for services have a right to privacy that's protected um, under HIPAA. And so. They, you know, so recording them being at this place is, is a violation of that privacy. Who's violating it? Because I can't violate it. No. HIPAA, HIPAA is not for me to protect. It's for you guys. Right. And that's our responsibility. That's to correct. Sure that we're, we're protecting that. That's correct. And one of the ways that we do that is say that people cannot take pictures or record of individuals. Well, what law? See, that's, that's just it. There's, there's no law. Two things. There's no law stating I can't, but it is an actual law stating I can. Do you well, get what you, you see? You see the, the see thin line? And regardless, people have the right not to be recorded. Not in public, though. There's no expectation of privacy in public. And plus, let me give you guys another heads up. According to ACLU versus Alvarez in the state of Illinois, we have a right to come in and film public officials in the course of their duties. And, and oh, That's right. been ruled on at the Supreme Court in, in Illinois. And, and okay. No so what? What? what, what okay. What? What? What's the? What's the point of telling me that people have a right to be private then? If you're not arguing that. They do. We're responsible for ma ma making sure that we maintain their privacy. And you know how you do that? You create privacy. That's you know how you create privacy by taking them to the back, taking them into a secluded area, but nothing in the public, man. Respectfully. Yeah. Okay. So moving forward. Okay. okay. Um, out. That's correct. Five days. State law. I'm on, I'm definitely aware. Um, we're gonna be leaving the facility here shortly. Okay, and I'm definitely am too. Yeah. Um, and so, um, meeting, James. Pleasure meeting you as well. Understand where you're coming from. Um, one suggestion that I sometimes have, you know, when I've had those conversations with other auditors. Uh huh. Let the staff kind of understand where you're coming from and know what you're trying to do. Okay. The time. Okay. They're not alarmed and disturbed initially on like what's going on because it's it's a crazy time these days, right? And there's a lot of stuff that's been happening lately. Just down the street, there was a bank robbery. So people and businesses have been on a little edge of um, people that just come in and they don't understand what they're doing for a, a legitimate purpose. But you know what? You know what? So, I'm, I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. I'm just giving you tips to make it a, a little less confrontational when you get there. Well, you know what? It wasn't really confrontational, like especially between like me and the personnel. It wasn't confrontational at all. It was just a misunderstanding. Um, obviously, I'm... Well, you don't have body count, but obviously you was back there um, educating these young fine folks. So they were educating me more than I was. Well, what you're about in terms of my rights, obviously. Yeah. No, uh, and, so, um, uh, and, and you know what? Here's the thing, James. I try and learn something new every day. They try and learn something new every day, and I hope you learn something from us today on just you know how we handle similar. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, uh, Sergeant Fuentes. Sure. Am I saying your last name right? I don't want to butcher it, man. All right, appreciate that. Even if you did, I wouldn't be offended. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I always want to get that right. Uh, the thing is, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I, I feel like you did come in and try to de-escalate the situation. I appreciate I, that. I really do feel that way. Uh, I feel like you're not trying to infringe on my rights, but I'm going to be perfectly honest. Those other two officers, they definitely were. Yeah. They definitely were. But you, per se, wasn't. So I, I want to commend you on that. I appreciate that. And it's something I strive for. I try and you know treat people fairly. And for sure. respect that they want. Because I don't just expect that respect from them. I, I uh, hopefully give it to them, and then I earn it back. That's correct. Does that make sense? Right, right, for sure. Um, I hope you get what you're looking for here. For sure. Um, like I said, like again, please, I, I filled this out. Yeah. I turned it in. I'm gonna, Perfect. I'm going to get some more you know, pamphlets and stuff, document a few more walls, and then I'm gone. Fantastic. Instantly. Um, the one thing we talked about, mm -hmm. just, just be respectful, there are some uh, 
private access, restricted access areas. Of course. That, that is not public. Okay? Oh, okay. If there's a lock there that you have to swipe past. That's to get not, in. Of course. Yeah, of course. Public. I'm not going to make any there's effort no to even. No, 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 of course not. No, 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 no. Respectful of the other areas because there are some areas over there. Okay. As well. Um, especially some of those glass where people are having private conversations with uh, staff, medical personnel. Okay. Uh, just be respectful of that. For sure. Like you want the respect too. Okay? Of course. So of give course. it to get it, right? Right. So, well, right, you know well, what? Before, nice before, hey, hey, real quick, it wasn't, it wasn't too respectful before you got here, though. Well, nice to meet you, <laughs> nice uh, you as well, man. Yeah, appreciate right. you. Yeah, all right. Else, just give us a call. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Right. And we yes. can follow up later if you need to. Okay. Call yes. All right. So, uh, like I say, uh, We'll get a couple of more pamphlets over here. A couple of more of these little pamphlets, man. And once the cops leave, we can leave. So, we'll see. So, yeah, TTA. Well, of course. And then go back here just a little bit. Be respectful of this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, be respectful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he wasn't respectful of that at the beginning, remember? And see, those cops didn't have a chance. If they would have reviewed video of him walking around doing that, you would think this sergeant wouldn't be this uh, easy on this. And that lady, you can tell she's kind of infuriated because she knows, she experienced him walking around behind those cubicles in, in the taking information off those desks which is just bullshit I mean he just what a what a bootlicker he turns out to be here at the end and, and this this cop is just a woke flake you know and that's my word guys woke flake yep I made it up woke flake <laughs> he just <laughs> oh yeah it's just crazy that we're still it almost seems like we're, we've gone backwards here uh, like on this video here because there's so much more information out there about limited public forum and, and uh, the cops that first arrived you know he knew he had a municipal stat, uh, statute that he could use you know but like I said this cop wants to play Mary Poppins and you know, everybody get along and hold hands as we, you know, travel through our days of life. It just, guys, come on, law enforcement, grow some brass. Anyway, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you're going to have those. Um, I just can't believe that this uh, this guy goes in there and he really pulls that off early on with all that bullshit. And I, you know, I've got the shots where you know you can still them and zoom in. Now you really have to work at it on this one. I've seen ones where you don't have to, and the information that was there wasn't that critical. But it's still personal information about somebody. So, all right. Tyrant Terminator <laughs> caught himself a woke flake sergeant. So he skated on that and he, you know, he waited out for them to leave and he's leaving on his own free will. So that's what he wanted for his followers. We think it sucks. Gotta put a stop to this stuff. This, this invasion of, of, uh, personal and whether they work for the city or the state or the government or not it doesn't matter still have rights all right i'm proud of the ram till next time we meet i'd be gone